If you're a dev and your main IDE of choice is VS Code, I bet you use copy and paste every single day, hundreds of times without even consciously thinking about it. Now, I had the brainwave this week. Is it actually possible to improve copy and paste in VS Code? So carry on watching this video because within 10 minutes, I'm going to show you four potential ways that's going to speed up your copy and paste game in VS Code because all that clicking, I'm tiring. So before we get to the good stuff, do not forget to like, subscribe, and help me out by leaving a comment. So with that said, let's get on with the good stuff. The first potential way we can speed up our copy and paste workflow is by switching from the keyboard to the mouse. Now, in order to do this, we can install Copy on Select by Din Harney. Now, this has been installed over 13,000 times, so it's pretty popular. So now let's see how this works. Now to install this extension inside of VS Code, go to the Marketplace Extension Manager, type in copy on select, and it's this entry here. Now after you've installed this extension, if you open up one of your code files, if you start highlighting a bit of code, you'll see that it gets automatically added into your clipboard. And now I can just do some very easy copy and pasting. I no longer have to do that tiresome job of pressing Control C all day long. So my next tip is super simple. And when you see it, you're probably going to wonder, why can't you just do this directly inside of VS Code? Right, so in order to demonstrate what I mean, I've loaded up the C Sharp class inside of VS Code. Now let's pretend I'm working on it. And at the moment, I'm highlighting code and I'm pressing Control C. However, how do you actually know that you've copied anything? Because on the screen, nothing changed whatsoever. Now, when you actually think about it, this probably isn't the best user experience. And this is where the next extension can help improve things. So this extension that I want to tell you about is called Highlight on Copy by Mark Tsugawa. Now, this was released in April 2024. And the aim of this is to briefly flash and highlight the selected text that's been copied. To install this extension, inside of VS Code, go to the Marketplace extension and search for Highlight on Copy, this one here by Mark. Now, after you've enabled this extension, if you start copying things within your code files, you can see that you get this red highlight whenever I'm clicking on the Control C button. Now, I will be the first to admit that when I saw this extension, I thought, big deal, a little flashy light. However, I bet that if you install this extension, you won't be able to live without it. Because think about it. How many times have you thought you've copied something into a clipboard, you've jumped into another file, you've pasted the wrong thing, you realize you made a mistake, so then you have to jump back. And ever since I've installed this extension, I've definitely cut down on those types of mistakes. So simple extension, but a massive thumbs up from me. Now I'm gonna assume that you installed the excellent select on copy. Now, one slight bugbear, one annoyance is that after you install this, it's very easy to accidentally lose the current active clipboard state. So let's say that you copy something, you jump between files, you accidentally highlight something, and then you lose your active clipboard state. Now, to get around this problem, the next extension called Clipboard Manager can help. So Clipboard Manager, downloaded over 30,000 times, as you can see here, it's going to give you full access to your clipboard history inside of VS Code. So let's say that I open up this file. If I go to my clipboard manager, if I double click on any of my history, you can see that it's automatically pasted into my code file, jobs a good. So the only final thing to say about this extension is that if you want to try it out yourself, then you can access it by going to Marketplace and searching for Clipboard Manager by Edgard Messias. So this brings us to my last tip. And this tip is going to give you way more power when you need to copy JSON and convert it into code. So in a classic YouTube video format, I've saved the best extension to last. And this extension is going to take your clipboard and it's going to convert it into code. And the extension we're looking at is called Paste JSON as Code. And this has been downloaded in excess of 2 million times so by far, this is the most popular extension in this list. Now, in terms of the type of code you can generate, this extension, it covers a lot. So I'm not going to cover the, what, 
20 odd languages here, but we've got all the classics you'd expect. So C, C sharp, Kotlin, Java, JavaScript, TypeScript, types. We've got Swift, Ruby, Rust, blada, blada, blada. So it's now time to see this extension in action. So once again, to install it, you can do it through a marketplace, paste JSON as code, and it's the one by quick type. Now we configure this extension mainly via the command palette. So once I click on this palette, you can see we've got a few options here. So paste JSON as code. We've got set quick type target language. Remember quick type was the name of the developer. We've got open quick type for JSON schema, and we've got a bunch of other things. So let's say that I paste in some JSON here and I copy it, copy all of it. Perfect. Now, if I go to command palette, if I go paste JSON as code, I'm going to pick C sharp. Doesn't really make a difference. What we can see is that I'll be prompted to put in a top level type name. So this is the name of the class that's going to generate. So I'm going to call it my helper. If I press return, you can see that my JSON has now been turned into code. So if you know C sharp, you can see we've got a namespace. We've got all the usings. Then we've got a bunch of different pocos. So you can see we've got the glossary. We've got the JSON properties, which map the JSON property name into a property in C sharp. So you can see we've got a bunch of different classes here mapping everything. And the really cool thing is that if we can look at this one, so we've got a class which is called my helper. In it, we've got a from JSON. Underneath here, we've got a serialize for two JSON. So this class is even going to allow you to serialize and deserialize all your code into JSON and vice versa for you. And all I had to do is press paste. Now, if you are watching this and you do regularly work with JSON or APIs in VS Code, it's probably not going to be a shock why that extension was downloaded so many times. Because being able to convert JSON with one click into any type of programming language, including the pop type definitions, is super useful and it's going to save you a bunch of time. Now, that is pretty much everything I want to tell you about how you can level up your copy and paste game. I hope you learned something new. Now, before we go, do not forget to be an absolute living legend. This is your only chance today. You can do that by clicking on the like and smashing on the subscribe button. Now, the other thing I want to say is that if you do like Visual Studio Code and you want to learn how to be more productive, then the link on screen right now will give you a video all about the best extensions in VS Code. Check that bad boy out because it's been watched over 20,000 times. Anyway, assuming you've done that, until next time, happy coding!